Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. So glad you guys are here for this next episode. Before we get started, make sure that you guys like the video. If you're watching the video version, make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening. And make sure you check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com for anything you see me wearing in the videos. Um, Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mamas. And happy Mother's Day to my mama. The number one mama in the world, period. So today we're going to be talking about small changes that create big results. And I just want to get right into it. Sometimes we set goals for ourselves and they seem like so extreme. They seem so big and they can make you feel a little bit overwhelmed. Like you can't reach this goal because it's so huge, right? But that's the thing about making small changes. Small changes can change the whole game for you. It can change the way you think about your extreme goal. It can change the way you actually accomplish that extreme goal. It starts with small change. So let's start with the importance of making small change in order to reach these huge results that we have. One of the first things that making small changes does for you is that it builds discipline. So if you're creating small change in order to get to a big result, you're going to do that no matter what, because that's small, that's easy. Doing something small towards the goal is easier than trying to get to that goal overnight. And doing something over and over and over again builds discipline. No matter how much you don't want to do it, no matter how much you don't feel like it today, because it's so small, you will do it anyway. And therefore you're building discipline. And that discipline is going to come in handy once you get to the bigger things that you have to do in order to get to your result. So let's, I'll I'll use me for example. So this podcast, I've been consistent. Shout out to everybody who has been sending me kind words because I need them, okay? (laughs) But I've been consistent with this and one of the things that helps me be consistent is to do the small things, right? One of the small things that I do is to just, I'm more aware of the conversations that I'm having. I'm more aware of things that are happening in my life that could connect with someone else so that I could use that in the podcast. So I'm just, I'm a lot more um, open-minded to things that are going on in my life. And that's something small that I'm making a change about. I'm just being more open into how that I could share this with someone else. How can I share what just happened to me with someone else so that maybe it can help them make a change? And the podcast is the big thing. Like, it's the big thing. I need to do this every week, right? But if I don't have anything to talk about, how am I going to do this every week? So that's one of my things. I just want to be open to what I'm hearing throughout the week, using what what I have throughout my life in order to bring it to the pod. And that's super simple. That's super small. That's just opening my mind a little more. It's not even like a physical thing that I'm doing. That's just, it's mental. I'm just being a little more aware. And therefore, it's it's creating the space for me to actually come up with the podcast topic and actually record the podcast and get it out to you guys. But it all started with a small change. Another important factor with creating small change, it makes you a better decision maker because you have to decide what's the small thing you're gonna do today in order to get you to your big goal. And each day you're deciding on a small thing. You're making a decision each and every day, even though it's small, you're making a decision. And for an indecisive person like me, making that small change, It's not the easiest thing in the world. Figuring out what that small change needs to be is not the easiest thing in the world. But once you figure it out and you keep choosing each and every day to make that small change, I low-key don't want to call myself indecisive anymore because I'm making the decision to do this small thing every day that's going to get me to my bigger goal. It truly combats that indecisiveness that some of us may deal with um, because it's so small. Usually we're stressing over the bigger thing. We're indecisive about the bigger thing. But if you sm- if you focus on the small areas in life, if you s- focus on the small changes that you can make in order to get to your bigger goal, you just become a better decision maker because you make the decision no matter what. There's power in making decisions. 
a lot of times we don't move or we don't progress because we haven't made a decision. We haven't made a decision where we, whether we want to start or not. We haven't made a decision whether we want to talk to this person or not. We haven't made a decision whether we want to go here or not. But when you make that decision, it pushes you. It pushes you to actually take action. It pushes you to figure out the next step. So don't overlook the power in making a decision to make a small change to get you to your big result. The last importance that I want to touch on is that making small changes create good habits. Let's say um, I want to drink water every day. Now I'm going to use a very, very practical one. (laughs) It just came to my mind. So I'm anemic. I'm supposed to take iron pills every day. And I struggle with remembering to take an iron pill every day. So when I was consistent with that, because I'm not now, shame on me. But when I was consistent with that, I would leave my iron pill where I ate dinner. So therefore, I see it every time. And because I see it, I'm creating that habit to take that iron pill at dinner every time. And it helped me be, it helped me be consistent with that. It helped me create that good habit that was good for me. It was good for my health and it was a small change. All I did was change the placement of that iron peel. All I did was change the fact that I can actually see it and remember that I need to take it. And a small change can be something as simple as that. I need my iron levels to get better. I need to be, I need to regulate my body. I need my feet to not be cold. I need to not be cold when it's 86 degrees outside. (laughs) that's the whole that's the big thing right but if I think about that big huge task that goal it may stress me out to the fact where I I don't know how to do this I don't know what I need to do to get my body back to where it needs to be but focusing on that small change which was putting that pill bottle where I eat every night it helped me get to the bigger goal my body is better when I'm taking that consistently not right now because listen I moved the bottle one time and it literally knocked me off the whole consistency journey. It it messed up the whole habit because I moved that bottle one time. Making small change, it creates good habits. And habits are what creates discipline in the end. And discipline is something you need to get to your end goal. It's not always about motivation. It's not always about encouragement. Sometimes you just need discipline because Sometimes, no matter what anyone does, what anyone says to encourage you, if you're not disciplined in that, and if it's not really built in you, put inside of you to do, you're probably not going to do it. So let's get into some practical small changes that could help us reach our extreme big goals, no matter what it is, whether it's business, whether it's weight loss goal, whether it's talking to someone, whether it's just being a nicer person. These are some practical small changes that could help you get to your larger goal. Number one is create a routine. One thing I always, I appreciate about college was the routine because they had it laid out for you. This is what you need to do in your four years in order to get your degree. These are your, these are your classes for the semester. These are the times that you must be in these classes And the rest of that time, you have to figure out how to input fun, how to input study time, and how to input self time, right? But they made it so easy because it was a routine. It was something, it was the same thing every day. I went to class, I got something to eat, took a nap, woke up, went to class, hung out with friends. If I had another class, went to class, it was the same thing every day. But that routine, it helps you get to your goal because you're not knocked off track by a lot a lot of different things that are going on. You know what you need to do for that day. You know what's expected of you that day in order to get to your goal. The goal was a degree. I knew what was expected of me. What was, what was expected of me was going to class. What was expected of me was inputting that study time wherever I could so that I could get to the goal. So creating a routine in your natural life now, that's without college and even with college, you can. But the routine is kind of inputted. It's already made for you. But creating that routine is super important. And I know it's hard because it's hard for me to create a routine, Um, especially if you're working a nine to five. Sometimes nine to fives are very inconsistent. 
it's not nine to five. Sometimes it's eight to four or sometimes it's seven to three or, you know what I mean? Like the times change. Um, so it can be very hard to create a routine, but even if you're creating a small routine, like a morning routine or a night routine that can help you get to your bigger goal, especially if you're inputting things that actually help with your larger goal. Number two is to try new things. Sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone, visualize new things, see new things, see new places, and that could spark creativity for you for getting to your bigger goal. So seeing how other cultures do it or seeing how other people operate in certain situations, that could open your mind to how you can operate in your situation to get to your bigger goal. Number three, establishing alone time. It's very important for you to not forget about yourself, not to forget about self-reflection. Pay attention to your own needs and how you are feeling within each and every day. One thing you want to avoid is overstimulation. We we take in a lot, especially if you work with other people and you're always around other people. It's a lot. I become overstimulated all the time because I'm at work. People are giving me their life stories. We're just having conversations about work. We're having conversations about this, about that. And then you come home and maybe you have people at home that you're having conversations with. And it's like, it's so much going on in your mind that you're just overstimulated to where you can't even figure out what things you need to do in order to get to your goal. So you want to try to avoid if it's a problem for you. For some people, it's not a problem and that's totally understandable. But I know for some it is. So if that is one thing that bothers you, it's like being overstimulated and just it's just too much going on. Make sure you are removing yourself for a while, just being alone for a while so that you can have some time to think, have some time to relax and actually come up with these small changes that you need to make in order to get to your goal. Decluttering your space. I don't know if y'all can relate, please put it down in the comments below. If you've been watching, <laughs> if you've been watching the podcast, I know you've noticed the boxes. Sometimes you think, oh my gosh, there's so much going on in my mind that I can't think when it's really just so much going on around you that you can't think. Sometimes you have to clean up your space in order to feel like, okay, I did something, now I can do something else. I did that, now I can move on to doing something that actually pushes me towards my goal. Having a clean space, it's just, it's like ridding yourself of little distractions. It's ridding yourself of like little problems that are around you. Yes, it's just the room that you're in, but that really matters because your environment matters. And if your environment is cluttered, your mind may be cluttered. I haven't spent too much time in this room because it's cluttered. I haven't decluttered it for a reason, but that's beyond the point. But I haven't spent time in here because it's cluttered. If I came in here every day and I tried to work, I couldn't get much done because it's like stuff here, it's stuff there, it's stuff everywhere. But I know when it is time for me to work, I can't just come in and work like this. I have to clean up this space. I have to declutter everything that's going on around me in order for me to actually do something that is progressing me towards my goal. Number five is waking up early. This is one thing that I have to work on myself because this is truly a small change that could just change the whole game for you. If you're waking up early, I really, I truly feel like you're, you're kind of waking up before the world wakes up. You're waking up before the calls that you get. You're waking up before the text messages you get. You're just waking up before all of the action that's happening throughout the day. And you're giving yourself some alone time. That could be your alone time. And it also builds a little discipline in you because although maybe you don't have anything to do that early in the morning, but you can wake up, you could do devotion, you can read, you could just have breakfast, whatever you want. But that small change can build discipline in you. It can build consistency in you. And discipline and consistency are two things that are required in order to get to any goal. Whatever you want to do in life, you need discipline and you need consistency. I don't care if you're just trying to become one of the greatest teachers. If you're waking up early, you can wake up early and try to figure out what can I do to make my students life better today. But if you're waking up and you're rushing, you're stressing, that type of stuff may not be on your mind. What's on your mind is, oh, I got to get there on time. When you could have woken up early, 
took care of yourself a little more and been able to pour out into your students a little better. So consider waking up early. And this is, like I said, one thing that I want to work on as well, just because sometimes I just try to get as much sleep as possible. If I have to be at work at a certain time, I will get up like a little bit before I have to leave instead of getting up an hour before I have to leave. I'm getting up 15 minutes before I have to leave, knowing that I cannot get ready in 15 minutes. <laughs> so now I'm rushing and I'm stressing and my day is already started off with these negative energies. Like stress is not a good energy to have. So if I have this negative stressed out energy, I get in a car and now I'm stressed out on the road. Now I'm driving fast. I'm trying to cut, cut, cut so I can get to work on time. So if you're waking up early, you're avoiding all of that. You're avoiding that stress, that unwanted stress. We talked about the importance. We talked about some practical small changes that you can make. Now let's discuss some immediate benefits. I know we are a generation of people who want things instantly. We want to see results now. And that's not always the case when it comes to whatever your big result is. Your goal may not be super big, but it may be. And if it is, whatever you're doing to work towards that goal, that goal isn't going to happen overnight. But making these small changes, they come with immediate results. And that's one thing that excites me about small changes, the immediate results. You can focus on that instead of focusing on how your big result is taking all that time to actually get there. So one immediate result is that it builds momentum and motivation. Like I said, motivation isn't a lasting thing, but it is good when you're getting it over and over and over again. So imagine making a small change. You see that that small change worked and you're like, oh, okay, I can keep making this small change because clearly it's working. So me with my iron peel, I could see like, oh, my feet, they're not as cold as they used to be. Okay, now I know my iron levels are still low. I'm not to that big goal where my iron levels are where they're supposed to be all across the board. But seeing that after a few days, after a week, that my feet warmed up, it's like, oh, okay, let me, let me keep doing this then. Let me keep taking this iron pill at dinner and it's giving me motivation to just figure out other ways that I could get these little results. Like what else can I do? Is there something else I could do to make my iron levels better? <laughs> so you will think about, okay, what else can I do to make this thing work out? Like if you're trying to lose weight, I don't know about losing weight, but I'm not like a fitness instructor, <laughs> but let's just say your small change was I'm going to drink a gallon of water every day. I'm going to drink a gallon of water every day and that's going to be my small change in order to get to my big result of losing like 20 pounds. So after you only done that for about a couple weeks, you actually see, oh wait, I've lost like a pound. I haven't worked out. I haven't changed my eating habits, but I've lost like a pound. Let me do something else that can also get me an immediate result that can get me to my bigger result later on. And momentum, momentum is like, I don't know, it's a powerful thing. And when I think about momentum, I think about a basketball game. When the team is winning and the crowd is cheering, it builds a momentum inside of that team that's winning. It's very important. If you're making these small changes and you see that it's doing good for you, you're going to keep going because you you want those results over and over again. You want those small things over and over again. And then you also know that eventually you will get to that bigger result that you have. The next immediate benefit of small changes is that it's easier and it's faster. You feel like you're getting to your goal faster and it's easy to do because it's just it's just something small. It was easy for me to put the bottle there. That was easy. And it's easy for me to remember to take it because it's right there in my face. That's easy. Our big goal may be super hard to get to. It's not the, it's not the easiest process, but those small changes that we make, that's what's going to be easy. And I say it's faster because you're getting those immediate results and you feel like, oh, I'm getting to my goal. My goal is right behind, like it's right around the corner because I have so many small results. My big goal is definitely on the way. The third immediate benefit of making small changes is that it boosts your confidence. It boosts your confidence to know 
that the big result is on the way. The big result can be, the big result is going to be just as rewarding as this small result that you're getting from your small changes. And now I feel like I can do anything. Like I've done all of these little things. I've drank my water, woken up early. I got a new routine. I'm on top of the world. I can do whatever my huge goal is. I can do that because I've done so many small things that are building up to this larger goal. So as I was doing my research, one of the quotes that I found is, repeating the same life tomorrow as the life you lived yesterday will only result in the same life you are living today. So what you did yesterday is impacting what today is. What you do today will impact tomorrow. You can't change your life until you change your life. You can't get to those big results, those big goals until you start small. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm not going to be a millionaire overnight. Nobody's, I'm not going to get a million dollars tomorrow. I could, I mean, Lord, if you want to give me a million dollars tomorrow, that's fine. (laughs) But practically, I'm not going to get $1 million tomorrow. Tomorrow, I might get $50. Tomorrow, I might get $100. The next day, $200. The next day, $1,000. And eventually, I will get to that big $1 million mark. But it all happens because of the small changes that I'm implementing. It's the small changes. It's the being more open-minded so that I can create this podcast. It's small things like that. I Physically, I didn't have to do anything. I just have to mentally be a little more aware a little more open to the things that are going on so that I can connect them and bring them to you guys. Whatever you do, just remember to get 1% better at each day and don't be afraid to start small. It's okay to start small. I know that you want to have this, all of this success. You want to be working with all of these different celebrities. Start small. Find you a neighborhood celebrity to work with. Find you someone small to connect with for now until you get to that big celebrity that you want to work with. It's okay to start small. It's okay to start with you and then externally start with something else. But it's the small change that are going to create the big results that we desire. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. Make sure, once again, that you like this video if you're watching. Make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening. Check out our website, www.dynamicxfashion.com. Also, follow us on social media. I kind of neglect to mention that in the videos or in the podcast. Um, But make sure you follow us on TikTok, Dynamic X Fashion. Instagram, Dynamic X Fashion. And Facebook, if you're interested, Dynamic Fashion. We are everywhere basically um and you get all different types of content on the different platforms so you don't want to miss out on what we are putting out but that's all i have for you guys don't be afraid to make small change don't be afraid to get one percent better every day it'll all work out in the end it's all gonna pay off in the end and you'll figure that out once you get there you'll be like oh it makes sense now (laughs) continue to change progress grow be dynamic i'll see you guys in the next one I hope you learn to make it on your own And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone I hope that you get everything you want in that